Dr. John with the Healthy MD. Today, I want to talk about the glucose ketone index, or, or GKI, as uh, sometimes known, and talk a little bit about just what it is, um, a little bit more information about the history behind it, and whether or not we can apply it to the ketogenic diet. So, the glucose ketone index was uh, first described by two researchers back in uh, 2015. Uh, out of Boston University, so my hometown, so yay, like to hear that. And really what they were looking at uh, was using uh, an index of ketones and glucose for uh, brain cancer patients, uh, glioblastoma and some of the other brain cancers are out there because there's a, a, a theory out there or thought out there that ketogenic diets may be helpful for certain types of cancers using the Warburg effect. I'll talk about uh that a little bit later on in a different video because I think that's also important to kind of think about the, you know, what are the, the true potential health benefits of, of a true uh, ketogenic diet and, and what's some of the history of the ketogenic diet as well too. But what these two researchers looked at was not just tracking blood glucose levels, uh, but also looking at the uh, blood ketone levels and using a ratio of that to kind of get a sense of how deep into ketosis their patients were that they were studying. And it's kind of an interesting uh, ratio to use, but um, essentially just glucose, so blood glucose levels over your ketone levels. Are now, the one thing to realize is that uh, blood glucose in the GKI is done in millimoles per deciliter. And in the U.S., we actually use milligrams per deciliter. So you do have to do a little bit of a conversion with that. And so you need to take the milligrams per deciliter of glucose, divide that by the 18, actually get the right millimoles um, per deciliter amount. So if you have, in this example, a uh, blood glucose of 90 uh, milligrams per deciliter, you'd actually divide that by 18 to get the correct millimoles. And then you can use that... Uh, adjusted millimoles and divide by the ketone levels, which are already in uh, millimoles. So in this case, you get uh, blood glucose of five and a blood ketone of two, uh, both in millimoles, and you'd get a GKI or blood glucose index of 2.5. So that's one of the things that I think some people confuse. They take their normal U.S. Uh, uh, blood glucose level and look at it and go, holy cow, I just you know got a blood glucose of 90, my ketones are one, my GKI is 90. No, make sure you divide that, um, that blood glucose by 18 uh, to get the right uh, units for that. Gives you a number, and in this type of ratio, higher is not better. So if you actually have a higher number, uh, shows that you're not in ketosis or in very mild ketosis, while a much lower number of that um, GKI or that uh, blood glucose ketone index would actually suggest that you're in a, a deeper state of ketosis. And so what these researchers looked at was if they're really taking people into a deep ketosis, what that did as far as their, uh, as an adjunct treatment for their brain cancers. And so they actually looked at a different, uh, few different ranges. So if you're above nine for your GKI or for your uh, glucose ketone index, you're pretty much not in ketosis at all. Um, and that really means that you're still having these high uh, blood glucose levels, uh, minimal if no measurable ketone levels at all and then kind of progressing on from there. So if you have a GKI between one and three, that's what we consider mild ketosis. So you're just starting to get into ketosis. Uh, insulin levels are, and uh, glucose levels are starting to adapt, but you're not quite there. And once you get into a GKI between three to six, you're what we call more of a moderate ketosis. And that's really where we start seeing um, uh, probably being helpful more for uh, you know, if you're severely obese, trying to lose weight, uh, type 2 diabetics, uh, trying to get them as far as uh, reducing down that uh, insulin resistance that they have is probably going to be helpful if they're, they have a GK, GKI in that 3 to 6 range, um, so that moderate ketosis. And then if you're getting into a GKI of between 1 and 3, so even, you know, uh, increasing those ketones even higher while you're either keeping blood glucose stable or even dropping the blood glucose a little bit because you're starting to become adapted to that ketogenic uh, low-carb diet, that uh, one to three uh, uh, ratio for the GKI would be what we call deep ketosis. And that's really where we're going to start seeing um, a blood glucose level, probably about 50 to 60 um, for that. And that's probably going to be the ratio, the one to, one to three ratio is probably if you have treating kids with seizure disorders, that's probably where the ratio that you want to be. Um, TBIs, there's a little bit of research on ketogenic diet for 
and low carb diets for uh, traumatic brain injuries or TBIs that probably need to be into that deep ketosis or that one to one, two or three ratio of the GKI for that. Um, and also, you know, if you're looking at inflammatory disease processes as well too, for using deep ketosis. And then for uh, in the brain cancer patients, uh, what these researchers were trying to do is really drive that GKI to under one. Uh, so really low um, uh, glucose levels and then driving the um, the ketone levels up as, as high as possible. So, you know, you know, again, is it helpful for, for what we do as far as weight loss or health? Still remains to be seen. There's not a lot of studies out there looking at it in the non-brain cancer patients, but I think it's kind of interesting to use kind of the two numbers, the blood ketones and the blood glucose, really kind of determine what type of ketosis you're really in and figuring that out. I do have a calculator for it on the website. Uh, over at the Healthy MD, so I'll link to that down the, uh, underneath the video notes for that as well too. But I think it's a, just another tool we can use to kind of really kind of help normalize um, you know, ketones versus glucose levels and trying to figure out you know, how you're doing as far as your, your low carb diet and are you staying into a mild or moderate ketosis. So uh, that's all I have on the glucose ketone index. Uh, ask away if you've got any questions, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. That's how we get more traffic here. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want to uh, hear me cover. Uh, I'll be coming back with more videos. Again, I'm Dr. John with the Healthy MD. Stay healthy.